Um, yeah, let's go into the uh, new releases and whatnot. Um, you want to go in and start off with Final Fantasy Origins? And I, yes. I guess if you want to start off with Sarah's notes, since she is. Yeah. Here. Well, I don't. I don't have any opinions myself with Origins, so I'm just going to read from her. So this is what she says. She says, well, "Hello, I'm surprised everyone. You haven't touched it. What? I'm surprised you haven't touched it. I thought you'd be all over it. Uh, I'm just not a huge Final Fantasy person. I mean, I loved Final Fantasy 15. Um, you can stop there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking shit. It's all good. Um, so anyways, this is what Sarah has to say. Hello, everyone. Corey is being lovely and one of the best beans and is delivering my thoughts on the Final Fantasy Origins demo. First of all, do not sit this one out. Origins is a gameplay mixture of Final Fantasy 15 and a Souls game. While it is still incredibly earlier, uh, it is fun and challenging in, in the right way. From seamless talent tree switching with the triangle button, a guard that is incredibly interest, interesting, guarding certain attacks lets you use them against the enemy. Um, and big dudes with giant swords. Uh, obviously, the game still needs work, but my, f- my favorite addition, a difficulty feature. Yes, Origins is a Souls game with a difficulty option. If you pick easy, you also have the ability to turn on casual, which means you die. If you die, you don't lose MP gained. I don't want to make this long, but I do want to say I cannot wait to see where Origins goes. Uh, We know I do actually find the character designs interesting. And yes, I say that ready to start chaos. Uh, Love, Sarah. (laughs) Um, her description right there, I completely forgot because I had read over it earlier and I completely forgot that she had said that it was basically Final Fantasy 15 with a, uh, mixed with a Souls game. And I might just go play that demo tonight. <laughs> I, you know, be I might fortunate, check it out. <laughs> be fortunate that you can play the demo because when they released it, I, I don't know how they didn't double check this like on, on their end. Just like when they, when they released the demo, it was corrupted. No one could fucking play it. Oh, it was it was it was pretty dumb, but overall, um, man, I, I I love Final Fantasy as a series. Like the majority of them that I've played, I love them. But this this just looks like such a weird mishmash, not even like in the Kingdom Hearts style. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I would say like I, I haven't played it yet. From what I've seen from the trailers, it plays uh, like 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 a slower beat 'em up with some like God of like classic God of War finishing moves. Um, a dude named Jack just like totally out of the blue and in like regular people clothes just like I'm going to kill chaos chaos have you heard of chaos I'm going to fucking kill him um uh, yeah, his guy, his guy like strolled out of an old navy store and it's like all right <laughs> time to go fuck someone up yeah uh, uh, so I, I, is this is this supposed to be the like final fantasy 1 remake or something so all right so, I'll, I'll I'll jump in here uh mm-hmm. apparent so like it's supposed to take place before Final Fantasy One. Like that I think is the timeline is this is occurring before the actual first game. Mm-hmm. But then like from what I I haven't actually played the original Final Fantasy, but from what I understand, there's like time travel involved in the first game. So there might be something involved in this one too. There's always but, time travel. <laughs> yeah, it's always time travel. What is, but what is, I, for, for, from what I've heard, Final Fantasy One like barely has a story up until the end. Yeah, it, it, it's. I think I, I don't even think Final Fantasy One has like characters per se. Like I think you start with like four job classes and can name them whatever you want. And I don't think there's like actual protagonists. Uh. Um, if I remember correctly, I think because like in Dissidia, I'm pretty sure like the uh, representatives from Final Fantasy one is like knight or white mage or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like final, the, I, I imagine back then when when the first Final Fantasy came out, it was more derivative of like uh, replicating sort of a video game version of what Dungeons and Dragons was trying to do. Um, yeah, so. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, like, I, I know I kind of rib on 15 in particular, even though I played it like three times. So I'm like, why don't I like this game? Let me give it a fair shot. That I played it three times to completion. And I hate myself. You didn't that. like boy. You didn't like boy band simulator. I 
<laughs> I'll put it this way. I enjoyed the character interactions, the overarching story I wasn't a fan of. There was a lot of logical jumps in that story, just like why is the Empire not chasing you? Why are they letting you go? Like like the story just doesn't functionally work. The open world's pretty empty, the side quests are kind of whatever. But like even just the combat, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna what was it? You hold circle to attack and occasionally do some other moves. Crafting mm-hmm. magic was kind of a pain. So if, if it plays more like seven remake, fuck yes. I love seven remakes combat. I, I'm I'm all for it. But um yeah. I think I'm I think I'm with you right there. Like don't make magic overly complicated. Just give me an MP bar and give me spells. Like that's all I yeah. need. Because like, like in 15, what you'd have to do, you'd have to pause the game, go into your menu. Yeah, you, you have to craft the magic because they're treated more like grenades than anything. And yeah. you have to like slowly like hold R1 to increase the amount that you're putting in it if you want like any amount of potency. And I don't know. I, I didn't enjoy 15. But I recognize <laughs> I'm the odd one out, so maybe my my brain is busted. <laughs> but that being said, uh I ultimately hope that this game is gonna be pretty good. It just I I would say maybe didn't make the fir- best first impression uh, for that many people. Chaos. Yeah, the trailer was bad. Yeah. I'm still gonna try the demo though. It's on yeah, my the tra- PS5. The trailer probably wasn't the best. Yeah, I'll, I'll give the demo a shot. I just haven't mm-hmm. had time. And by, but when I say I don't, I didn't have time. I've been too busy playing Siege with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fun times had. You you would have a great time with it, Corey. Competitive shooter. You die and you gotta you gotta sit out. Yeah, for five totally. Like first person shooters. I just love like when people jump around and twitch until they can't get fired at. It's just so I love it. It's great. I, I will say, <laughs> out of anyone's sarcasm, I love yours the most. <laughs> it has this beautiful tone, dude. It's just it's just it's like I like like don't get me wrong. There are first-person shooter games I like. Competitive first-person shooters. <sighs> I'm sorry if the if the if the person that you're trying to shoot is flying around the screen or turning into a building or whatever the hell these other first these other shooters do. I I'm done. I'm done. I'm like I can't. I can't. <laughs> and people are like, "What's the matter? Just click the person. Like just click the person you're trying to kill." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, well, no, it's not easy." <laughs> as Roman, as Roman Nomad points out, you're missing out on the best part of gaming. Don't you want to hear? Don't you want to deal with team killers and racists? That, that's the best part, Corey. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. <laughs> Speaking of competitive shooters, can I make a quick news thing? Oh mm-hmm. hell yeah, go for it. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know if this was scheduled to be talked about, um, but they did announce this week the new Valorant character, the, or the new Valorant agent. Ooh. Um, uh, well, have they announced like what the character's abilities are or anything? Yeah, he got a trailer and everything. It's the the character's name is Ko, which <laughs> it's a robot <laughs> and it's spelled K A Y backslash zero. Okay. Um, uh, but it's it's a robot and i believe he is a duelist uh and his abilities are his main ability is he throws a knife that suppresses the abilities of other characters so like that's his oh, nice. his sort of gimmick is like he will throw this knife out and then it has an area of effect that stops other uh characters from using their abilities so he's kind of like dombra esque uh from overwatch but now in uh valorant Mm -hmm. um actually sounds pretty dope yeah he he looks really neat to play uh i'm sure i'll be terrible with him uh because that's how i play valorant is terribly but it it looks really cool and he's like it's like kicking off the new the new season of valorant starts this coming tuesday um so he's going to be like the main addition along with a bunch of balance stuff We we got to get back into playing some more Valorant. I, I, do I have I, it installed? I don't know. <laughs> Shit. I, I think I might have uninstalled. Cause like, oh, I'm just going to clean up my... Nope, I still have it installed. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get out of it. No. Nope. You have to play it with there, us. There's no escape. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, has anyone else here played Final Fantasy VII Intergrade, the, the PS5 upgrade? 
Okay. I have it downloaded, but I have to finish Ratchet and Clank first. All right. I I will take over for the Intergrade stuff. Um, So Intergrade is the weird naming convention they're doing for the PS5 upgraded version of Final Fantasy VII Remake. So uh, better resolution, better frame rate. They added textures. That, That door that is supposed to look like a door actually looks like a door now. It's just not just this blurry red object where a door is supposed to be. Um, so, so that's nice. Uh, overall, graphically, it's, it's still not like, damn, this is a PS5 game. It just looks more uh, consistent for what you would have expected because there it, d- it does look great like as, as a PS4 game, but there's just like small inconsistencies here and there. Um, but with in- there's a weird buying system. If you buy Integrate as a new game, I believe you get the DLC, but if you already own the PS4 game, you get the free upgrade to the PS5 version, but then you have to buy the DLC, which is called Intermission. Why they would use Intermission and Intergrade gets a little confusing. Why they didn't just call it Yuffie's Big Adventure, I don't know. But uh, the DLC plays Yuffie, who is a um, character from the original Final Fantasy game. They're making some weird plot divergences. This isn't necessarily spoilers. This is just stuff in the trailers. The fact that she's even this early in the game, where in the original, you don't meet her until like the as an optional character, like in the Forest of Junon, which is much later. Um, they mess with her backstory where she's she's uh, there like on official business. Her her father's backstory's changed. It's 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 kind of weird how some of these plot divergences that are there in seven remake are happening like such at a background level but yeah it, it's a fun adventure you, you fight some characters from dirge of cerberus uh that we weren't elaborated on back then because it was kind of retcon back in there mm-hmm. um I, I like her combat even though it took me a while to get used to it because as a dlc it's like you press the x or square button to attack circle is to dodge but it starts off pretty hard. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like I, I have the platinum for Final Fantasy seven remake. Um, I got pretty damn good at that game. I didn't remember jack shit about that game, about that game loop, about how you're supposed to counter stuff and whatnot. Um, so so it, it was rough going back. And then on top of that, Yuffie has like a very drastically different play style compared to Cloud. She's a lot faster. You can swap to magic and infuse certain elements to it. It's it, it's a bit to adjust to, and honestly, I didn't really get into the swing of it basically up until maybe like an hour before it ended. So may, maybe a second playthrough would be a lot better for me. But overall, I, I'd say worth the 20 bucks if you're, if you're paying for it separately. But yeah, overall pretty good. It's more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, whoever the fuck is directing those... Uh, the cinematography, whatever you want to call the game equivalent of it, deserves a fucking raise. That shit is so stylistically on point. It is fucking beautiful. It is uh, top tier anime. Uh, yeah, that, that's about it. It's Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yuffie's a cool character. She's a big old dork. It's a nice <laughs> change of pace from Cloud being a moody boy. Also committing tax fraud. Uh, identity theft as well on top of that. that that's twice as bad. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a good time, especially if you already own it. I'd say go for it. 